This is the Mallory Square in Key West, Florida travel guide. What's a must do in Key West? Mallory Square, of course. This popular spot is filled with vendors, street performers, restaurants of all kinds, and of course, there's plenty of people watching. As Bob Dylan sings in his song, Key West Philosopher Pirate, Key West is the place to be if you're looking for immortality. Key West is paradise divine. Key West is fine and fair. If you've lost your mind, you'll find it there. Key West is on the horizon line. Info in this video will include directions, a bit of history, and what to see and do, and of course we'll share our own experiences and tips. Keep watching this video to get the full details to plan your visit to Mallory Square in Key West, Florida. Welcome to HipVig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is HipVig's Key West, Florida travel guide series. This episode is the Mallory Square travel guide for visitors to Key West, Florida. Keep watching and if you like our video, make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Once you're in Key West, set your GPS to 400 Wall Street. Mallory Square actually is located along the whole block of Wall Street. Mallory Square is located on the waterfront in Key West Historic Old Town. It's next to the cruise ship port and located on the west of the north end of Duval Street. It also faces the Gulf of Mexico. If you want a directional reference, then it's next to the Key West uh, Shipwreck Museum and the old po post office custom house. If you don't have a car, you can easily get here by taking the Old Town Trolley Tour and exit at 1 or the Great Conk Tour Train and exit at the Front Street Stop. We parked our car on the street by Sunset Pier by Ocean Key Resort and walked the short distance to Mallory Square. There is public metered parking along the streets and parking lots in this area. Metered parking is by electric pay station near where you park. The pay stations accept coins or credit cards. Take the receipt and put it face up on your dashboard. Here's a sunset viewing tip. If you want a quiet place to enjoy the sunset, then try Sunset Pier. After watching the sun go down over the endless horizon, we walk to Mallory Square. We walked past Duval Street as we walked through Whitehead and then to Wall Street. The streets were alive with Evening Island energy. By the way, the closest parking lot is Mallory Parking at 460 Wall Street, which is right next to Mallory Square. It's pricey, but very close. There's plenty of things to do in Mallory Square, like the Key West Historic Memorial Sculpture Garden. This free attraction is open 24 hours, seven days a week. There are 20 foot monuments titled The Wreckers and 39 busts honoring people like Ellen Russell Mallory. Ellen Russell Mallory settled in Key West with her family in 1823. What's unique about her story is that she's the first white female settler in Key West. One of her sons went on to become a U.S. Senator and then Secretary of the Navy for the Confederate States. Mallory Square is named after her son, Stephen Russell Mallory. Mallory Square and the surrounding area is a popular spot to see the burnt orange sun set and disappear below the endless horizon. In fact, it's so popular that it has its own name called the Sunset Celebration. The Sunset Celebration is so important that to protect this view, in Mallory Square, the city of Key West passed an ordinance requiring cruise ships to leave port two hours before sunset and cannot return to the dock until after the sun has set. A couple hours before the sun sets beyond the Gulf of Mexico, locals and tourists gathered together to find a good spot to watch the sun set. And of course, people watch. And believe you me, there are some very interesting people to watch. Depending on the time and day, you'll see uh, street performers like men swallowing fiery swords or psychics will tell you your, your future. There are also food vendors where you can buy fresh coconut water or stand in the long lines at the conch fritter stand. After the sun sets, the big cruise ships return to the dock, entering the area with more visitors. And along the edge of the boardwalk, smaller party boat tours return to dock adding to the jubilant vibe of Mallory Square. 
and of course you can't have a party without lots of music. You'll find one-man music shows along with Congo players making those around them dance in the streets and smile if nothing else. In Mallory Square, you'll see the laid-back, independent and unique conch spirit of Key West, which has long marched to its own drama. A very popular restaurant is the El Maison de Pepe, which features Cuban cuisine. Make a reservation or expect to wait in a long line. But a bonus is, on the patio of El Maison de Pepe, just after sunset, there's usually live music. So don't be surprised as you'll see dancers uh, crowding the walkway. And also, you can do a little dance while you're waiting for your table. History note. Did you know that Mallory Square was also where thousands of refugees from Cuba disembarked on American shores during the 19th century? Mallory Square has a smorgasbord of activities. You'll also find the Key West Aquarium and Shell Warehouse. You'll also find Papa Pillar's Rum Distillery. FYI, tours are available and free taste of the dark and light rums made there. On the other side of Mallory Square is the historic seaport. This scenic walk offers a glimpse of Old Key West where you'll find the fishing skiffs, sailboats, and mega yachts docked at the marina. Now something I learned was about a little known trade that made Key West wealthy was sponging and the sponge uh, trade. And of course there's a shop full of sponges and souvenirs. Look for the live-sized sponge man standing outside the entrance. Here's another uh, history note. Did you know that Key West also has a history in the shipwrecking industry uh, since the 1850s? A lot of money, and I mean a lot of money, uh, was made treasure hunting from wrecked ships along the shallow reef. If interested, visit the Key West Shipwreck Treasures Museum in Mallory Square. Located on the outskirt of Mal Mallory Square, you'll also find the Key West Museum of Art and History and also the Custom House, which is a two-story red brick building, which closes at 4.30 p.m. Along Wall Street and Front Street, you'll see tons of souvenir shops and restaurants and bars to visit, as well as just people watch. After sunset, you can just stroll through the boardwalk promenade and wave to the boats and that cruise by the harbor, as well as just watching all the different kinds of people that are um, at, in the square. FYI parent note, although um, Mallory Square is generally great for the whole family, at night it could be a little PG-13. For information on other attractions nearby Mallory Square, look at our videos for the Southernmost Point, Lighthouse, Hemingway Home, Smathers Beach, Butterfly Conservatory, and Fort Zachary Taylor State Park. After our time in Mallory Square reveling around and people watching and shopping and eating, uh, we decided that we were going to walk towards Duval Street. Now Duval Street will be another new video, so look for it coming up in the next couple of weeks. Alright folks, thanks for watching. Mallory Square is a must-do in Key West. It'll take you an hour or more or the whole day depending on your interest in activities um, in Mallory Square and around the surrounding area. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.